Hello folks, as you can tell by the hobo cat, or the posterior of the hobo cat. Let's see if I can lure her over here. Come on, Chispa. Nah, she wants to go take a nap. This is her afternoon nap. Yes, but I'm the one, the only, not the macho Tom, not the macho man, but I'm the one, the only, I am hobo Tom. And I have a whole bunch of thank yous to give out. Uh, last week, we had the Impact pay-per-view. I'd like to thank everyone over there on the Discord for getting in touch with me. And again, if you ever want to get in touch with me, I get your own video shout-out, which is on the, the, the hobo list. What the fluff was that? Yep, let's see here. So again, these are just my thank yous. Again, I appreciate every time someone comments, especially if they correct me and seem somewhat knowledgeable about what they're correcting. Again, I always accept criticism just to say, you suck. But hey, you have crappy video software. Can't do anything about that. I'm poor. Well, Hobo, what do you expect? <laughs> do you expect me to have high quality video gear and Alienware? Please. But let's see here. Enough about that. Let's get to the feigned hobo list. Here, thank yous. Nickel's back. You, sir, you always win by six count. Callie Icon, you are a master of the air guitar. Fuma, you're chilling out with your briefcase boombox. Meow yeah, meow yeah, fuzz. You know what, not so much for this upcoming one, because it does take me a while. I do have to make you a special character in the Daytona Beach Pump Fight League, because you, sir, you can crawl out of here. Toot blue. You always win by dirty pin. Narag. Yeah. You know all about that. Yes. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. 
Reverend Wells. You know what, Reverend Wells? You're also going to be made into the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. But you start going out with style because you're partying with the El Generico Band. <sighs> oh yay for me. Nova Red? Holy shit! Cyclone Joker, you know Jordan has back. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. Wow. I like big butts and I cannot lie. And Ripsy, you're just chilling out because you're that luchador on a forklift. Okay, let's see here. Gary Etler, you're just a part of Mundo Madness. Ryder Lee Ang Angali, you just know that Natalia Superior. Outsider for life, Nikki Cross is your tag team partner?
As in white salt. O M S G. And Mazo YY3, you know your kung fu fighting. So with all those thank yous getting out, let's take a little break. Yes. And again, I have to give a big thank you. Again, I already sent out, well, the thank you videos to those on the hobo list. Yes, the list of hobos. Yes, Brother Nero. Brother Nero. I knew you'd I show, knew up. You show up. Yeah, I think a couple of them. Yeah, I, mean, I, was, I, was, I don't know. He's getting close. If, I, if he talks to me again, I'll have to make him a character in the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League for after Labor Day. But yes, more important than even all those beautiful thank yous I had to send out. Again, if you want to get your own video shout out, your own little personalized video from the one, the only, Hobo Tom. You can find me at uh, Baked Live. I'm kind of there watching the wrestling there. Also, send a comment to me. Yep. And now let's get the meat and potatoes of the show. Or at least the meat of the show. We'll do the potatoes afterwards. We have WWE Payback. It's payback time, baby. Um, it's Thursday. I'm probably not going to watch Friday. Because, well, it's Friday. It's Red Wine and Pizza Friday, and I like to watch CSI's that day. It's just more relaxing. I don't know. For some reason, watching weekly wrestling... Is fading pretty quickly with the exception of Impact. Impact just had its big pay per view. And they didn't do much. Like, Impact doesn't do much before and they don't do much afterwards. They do a lot afterwards, but it's just chaotic setting up. Impact's more. Impact's just fun to watch, like, midway through, because I don't think their next premium live event. Is until November. So eventually, sometime in September. Uh, can I get a few games? Uh, NXT. Parts of it are just becoming unwatchable. But this whole thing with uh, Thea Hall. It's like some bad porno script. Um, bunch of people I never heard of. You probably won't. I don't really see live anyway. And yeah, I have a whole moratorium on NXT. I just found, I think, the one thing between Thea Hall and JC Jane. Interesting that, like, she's the reason she's skipping class. 
Listen, I saw that. The only thing that they did not do was have J.C. Jane smack Thea Hall flat on the ass. Just to give it its pure brazers feel. Well, enough about that. And then WWE. It's good. But I've been busy. We do this when I'm yawning so much. It's kind of early, late, whatever you feel. Well, let's talk about pay per views. Pay per views are actually watching like recaps are so much easier sometimes. Um, I have no idea what order this is going to be, unless I say whatever's going to happen. L.A. Knight versus The Miz. Oh, you know what, folks? Oh, it's not going to be that. L.A. Knight's going to win. That's going to be a f interesting match. But yeah, L.A. Knight wins that match. Um, Kevin Steen and El Generico. I correct myself. I mean, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn take on Prince Devitt and Punishment Martinez. Ah, oh, I mean, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. Um, this is going to be a good match. Kevin Owens is so good. This is my match of the night to watch. M O T N. What does this pen not want to write? Did I? Oh wow! I yanked that. Uh oh. In to the bin it goes. I'm glad I'm going to the boat show soon. I need more pens. So that's where I get most of my pens. Well, I forget the last one. Well, well, a bunch of pens I bought, but what the hell is that? Oh, a motorcycle key. Yeah. going to be the boat show which I will be showing a video of later okay this one works match of the night um Reims, uh yes uh Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn's that retain, that retain their tag title belts I think there's going to be some shenanigans with the Stevlin character or um McDonoghue character yeah the McDonoghue character whoever Devlin is I even forget. They changed their names, and I'm like, why bother? Bravo Foods Shops. Indeed. Uh, Rey Mysterio versus Austin Theory. This is going to be a fun match. Austin Theory is going to keep that belt. Rey Mysterio is great to have around, but yeah. Uh, Rhea Ripley versus Raquel G Rodriguez. You know what? You can take a nap during this match. Raquel's not winning. Rhea Ripley, mommy, is now married mommy, is retaining her championship. Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Just to make it interesting, Shinsuke Nakamura hasn't held a belt in a while. This way, this frees up Seth Rollins to go after Roman Reigns and not have it a title like a winner take all situation. So yeah, Shinsuke Nakamura wins. So will free Seth up a little bit. Maybe he needs some time off. I'm hearing kind of those out and in rumors. He's like, yeah, I just, you know, tranquilo. Um, and then in my stone cold lock of the night, it's going to be Becky Lynch taking on Trish Stratus. Yeah, I don't care what's going to happen. Becky Lynch is going to win. She's in a steel cage. Trish Stratus isn't winning. Yeah, there, there might be shenanigans, but that's what I think. Um, I'm going to take a little break. We'll talk about AEW All, which is going to be this Sunday. Man, there's a lot of wrestling. What a weekend full of wrestling. Yep, so. Yes, now that I've given all the thank yous, and I'm in a much more appropriate shirt for this predictions, I'm the one, the only hobo Tom, and you know what, 
I'm going to make an executive decision. I gave you guys a hint of it last time. You know what? Hit my original. Yep, that was the music I first came out to when I had my wrestling debut and my first, second, and last match. Yep, <laughs> not long. Can I give a whole reason why? You know, it's time for about some predictions. And yeah, because this is Sunday. I did my predictions for WWE Payback. Let's talk about AEW, that hot dumpster fire right now. Um, I have no idea what the main event's going to be. I don't think they know what the main event's going to be. It's They still have one more show to go Friday. And you know what? They might change things up. I have absolutely no idea about what's going to be happening. I just know... What I found, for the most part, last night and today. So I just have to run with it. Again, in no particular order. I don't think they know what the order is going to be either. We have Eddie Edwards and Shibata taking on the Blackpool Combat Club of uh, Claudio Castanoli and Wheeler Yuta. You know what? Shibata, Shibata does not lose. Shibata will headbutt both of them. And they'll have to cart him out on a stretcher before he loses. Yep, Eddie Kingston and Shibata win. Simple one. And then in my stone cold lock of the night. We have the right hand of destruction, Samoa Joe versus Shane Taylor. You know what? Samoa Joe's not losing to Shane Taylor. Samoa Joe wins. Uh, this should have been my other Stone Cold Lock. I already assigned it one. So let's see here. Um, we have Adam Cole, baby, boom, and you know he's better than everyone, MJF, taking on the Dark Order, the Dark Order, yeah, so he, yeah, again, you know who's not winning, Therefore, you know who is winning. Adam Cole! Baby! Boom! And MJF are going to defend those title belts. Um, This should be a fun match. And then, you know what? Let's check this out. Because we have these, this eight man. This might be the main event. I, I have no idea. But let's see here. So we have. Oh my God. The hell kind of bullet club music is this? This is garbage bullet club. So we have bullet club gold, which is Colton Gun and Austin Gun teaming up. Oh, this is better. Eh, moderately better. Versus, or no, with, of course, Jay White, the leader of Bullet Club Gold, and Juice Robinson take, taking on FTR and the Young Bucks. The Bucks of Youth! Yes. I don't know. I can't see. Bullet Club's known for losing. They have to start a feud with someone. So I'll just say FTR and the Young Bucks win. I don't know. I just got this 
<laughs> I can see where a bullet club was though. They can start feuding, but yeah, I'm like so not interested in this pay per view. I will watch it because this is Sunday night. I have some egg sandwiches, tater tots. The good shit. Um, <laughs> in a match that you can probably sleep through. You have Luchasaurus versus Darby Allen for the FTW Championship. I think. For some belt. Darby Allen's going to win. I don't know. I could really care less. And another match I'd probably care less about. What's going to be the match of the night? Oh, yeah, that'll be the match of the night. You have Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley for the International Championship. That sounds so close to the Intercontinental title belt. It's the All International National Champion. That sounds like a belt from the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. But yeah, um, I think John Moxley's gonna win. As a leader of the Blackpool Combat Club, it behooves him to get a belt. People have said that this might be the main event. Nah. Somewhere there on the court. Actually, surprisingly, if they do this right, this is gonna be really good. My match of the night. Surprisingly enough, gonna be two big men slapping man meat. That's my redeemer, Miro. Miro Crush versus Powerhouse Hobbs. This has all the potential to be a hidden gem in this card. I'm gonna go with Miro. This could be the start of a nice feud. Although I could see Powerhouse Hobbs winning. I think Miro's gonna win. Then we have the cleaner Kenny Omega. Taking on Konishka to Keshka. I don't know. Kenny's going to win. He's going to book himself strong. And then for the women's championship, or the TBS, for the host championship. You know what would be interesting? It's going to be Chris Statlander versus Ruby Soho. The women's division in the AEW is god-awful. I can see Chris Dantlander dropping the belt to Ruby Soho and then just having them beat up Tony Storm a lot or have Tony Storm trying to beat up those two for one of those belts. So yeah, I'm just going to have Ruby Soho winning. She's been there forever. She like deserves to win something. So... Yeah, those are my predictions. Ruby Soho becomes a new women's championship. Kenny Omega wins. My Redeemer, Miro, wins. John Moxley becomes the new All Atlantic International Nations champion. Darby Allen becomes the new FTW championship. FTR and the Young Bucks win. Adam Cole, baby! Boom! And M. Jeffrey Kane, their Ring of Honor Tag Team title belt. Samoa Joe keeps the T uh, Ring of Honor TV title, I guess. And Eddie Kingston and Shibata, they just beat up Claudio and Will Yuta. Other than that, I have no idea. Um, yeah, that's right, this is the last one because WWE's on Saturday. So, yep, if you want to be on the hobo list, as you can tell, it's nice and blank there. Plenty of place to put names. Plenty of thank yous to give out. If you'd like to thank everyone for watching, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone for watch-along reactions Saturday night. Yep, I'm going to have fish tacos. That'll be good and yummy. Sorry, I'll just have some egg sandwiches. I don't really feel like cooking sausage. I could do that. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Absolutely clueless. Bye.